All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol NAKD, Naked Brand Group. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we dive into this chart, I do want every single investor and viewer to be aware that I have two ticker symbols that I'm briefly talking about towards the end of this video that if you haven't already added to your watch list, you definitely want to. There's a lot of potential in this sector and they're from the mobile gaming sector. So stay tuned for more information on their charts and their earnings and how they've reacted since we've talked about them, where they're at now and what to possibly expect moving forward and their potential. So let's dive into Naked Brand Group first. We'll talk more about that towards the end of this video. So here we are. Naked Brand Group broke through resistance, reached newer highs, and it reached all the way up to 217 and fell right back down to 148. I want to explain something to every single investor. There's a lot of investors that re-entered down here, averaged down or entered for the first time down here or sold anywhere around here, re-entered and were trying to take a shot at this run or the next quote unquote catalyst. Well. We saw this run back up from these lows here of 70 cents and even the lows here of like 110 all the way up to 217 or basically up to almost 195, almost $2. And we've seen a quick pullback. Well, all these investors here probably averaged down or got in for the first time, took profits, minimized their losses by not taking such a big loss and cutting it out and moving their money to another location and also... The uncertainty kicked in, not too sure about the outlook on this company and what to expect. And also, there's the investors that have been holding through this process as it was going down. They never saw those numbers again. And when you go back, most of the uncertainty and the ones that ended up staying towards that bottom, right? If they didn't get out anywhere on the way down, are the ones that were at this point, right? This was the crazy volatility. This is the post crazy volatility and then here we are, right? So a lot of these investors got the chance to break even or cut their losses at a smaller amount or they average down and take a small profit by getting out on the way up of this. And that's why we're seeing this quick downward reaction. Not enough inflow, but a lot more outflow as it reached those numbers. So I want every single investor to be aware of that on why this volatility has happened and to expect this to probably fall a little bit lower if investors are really uncertain and they're actually looking to get out of this at this point and they want to move their money elsewhere because a lot of investors that are in this stock are not too sure on the outlook of it and then there's others that are very bullish so both are all completely right or could be completely wrong. It all depends on your perspective, what your outlook is and what your goal is and what you're trying to see. Some people say this is a worthless stock. This was just a meme stock. This was a stock that has no value. And yes, they've done tremendous amounts of reverse split in the past. And that's why in the graph, you see some really high numbers. I wanted to go ahead and explain that because some people believe those valuations were once actually in the ticker symbol stock price. Well, the stock has never hit those numbers. Those are just the values of every reverse split that if it never did the reverse split, that's what it would have been valued. But that's why we're down here and it's a penny stock. You need to remember this was below a dollar, right? And when you look at their financials, there has been no profit in the last four years and the quarterly doesn't even let you look at it. It just lets you see the annual. So when there's no profit, you know, that's a big red flag. Now the technicals based off of how the charts moving is showing a buy, but that doesn't always mean that that's correct. That's just going off of the temporary movement of a stock or how quickly it moved up. And then they're assuming based off the technicals of the moving averages that this can run up. You also want to look at what company this is. Now, others are saying, well, there's some innovations and opportunities for naked brand and leading into valentine's day we were going to see a run well certainly we did but it's already pulling back so that means that tomorrow is friday 
people are going to get out even before that because Valentine's Day lands on a Sunday. And then Monday, no one's really going to wait till Monday and hold this over the weekend, you would think, right? Especially a penny stock like this one. So there's a lot of things and variables going into this downward trend. But let's look at our support in the 50-day moving average and resistance. So we're currently at 149. The 50-day moving average is 151. As long as we're below it, we're in bearish territory. The moment we're above it, we're in bullish territory. Our support, lowest point reached is 139. If that gets broken through, I'd pay very close attention to this stock. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? And are the bulls trying to reappear? Or are the bears tearing this one down? Very important to keep that in mind. Now, our resistance is at this point 167. The highest point before the fall is 195. This is a very important resistance level to move upwards and continue this upward momentum. But before getting there, 167 needs to be broken through, turn into a support so that the bulls can continue to work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned till the end because I have a ticker symbol that you won't want to miss. Actually two that I've talked about before. They're in the mobile gaming sector and you definitely want to have these on your watch list moving forward. Stay tuned. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is one that we've talked about in the last coming weeks. And it's already getting closer to analysis ratings price target on the low end. It still has room for the higher end part of it. But let's talk more about it. It's Zynga Inc. Z-N-G-A. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Z-N-G-A. And here we are. Zynga had a consolidation. I was paying close attention to it. We wanted to see if it pulled back a little bit and meet back to these numbers or was it the point where it was going to take off from there well as soon as we talked about it i went ahead reiterated it here at ten dollars and then we took off to 11 and some change and then it fell back down to nine dollars now i talked about it here one more time to let every single investor know that this might be an opportunity or you know what break even and get out but the opportunity in zynga is that this is a long-term potential play right i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold any positions on any of these stocks but this sector overall is growing okay zynga is growing glue mobile is another one that i talked about uh weeks ago and also skills right which we're going to look at glue mobile in just a second it was the first one that was on here but i wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that the ticker symbol for today that you want to add to your watch list if you're coming across this for the first time or you overlooked it or you know, you kind of were putting it aside. This is the one you want to definitely have on your watch list moving forward. But right now, what I want to talk about is on the high end spectrum of analysis ratings, this one was rated up to $14 in the next six months to a year. Now, the low end was 11. We're currently sitting close to $12. So there's a little bit of volatility here. I'd watch this to see if it consolidates like we saw here. Obviously with the ups and downs, but some sideways movement holding itself up above $11. But if it breaks below $11, I highly suggest doing research and seeing what's pulling it back. And if it's nothing like serious, that's going to compromise the structure of this business. I mean, that could be an opportunity because anything below $11 is the low end spectrum of analysis ratings and anything above that is getting closer to the high end, which is 14. Anything above 14, I definitely go ahead and step back and just watch the chart because there hasn't been any upgrades or reiterations of any analysis ratings on this one yet. But we're sitting right now at $12. I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to make more investors aware of it. Now, back to Glue Mobile. Now, Glue Mobile, there was a lot of speculation and hype on the fact that there was an opportunity for this to merge with Tencent, so forth. And if it doesn't, the structure of this company and the potential is there, and especially their market cap on how small they are and how much room they have to grow and take some of the market share. 
in the sector of mobile gaming, right? So we talked about it back around the middle of January, almost the end of it. We talked about it when it was like at $9, almost $8. And I said, you know, we need to watch this, look for consolidation and look for an opportunity because it has ran up from these lows of $6 the last coming months. And leading into this month, it kind of spiked up and it was pulling backwards. And here we are after everything and earnings was beat by a slight bit it made a big difference in this stock it went from nine dollars and some change all the way up to highs of 1350 and here we are at 1258 so one of the biggest things i would tell every single investor is watch this carefully as it continues to consolidate or if it pulls back a tad bit maybe down to the 11 dollar mark or somewhere around there and see if it consolidates there at a newer high it will look pretty healthy because then this could consolidate towards the next catalyst and the next run. But Glue Mobile has a lot of potential. I mean, the chart is showing it, and I highly suggest doing more research on these because the mobile gaming sector is exploding like more than ever. And skills is another one, and betting is getting incorporated into these games, which is making things a little bit more intense of going from just an arcade experience to you know getting more competitive and also bringing the casino to your phone and that's another thing that these mobile gaming you know companies and devices are going to be able to implement into people's lives and it's taking away some of the market share from these casinos and these different extracurricular activities that people would go do and a lot of people are doing it now from the comfort of their home in their car on the way somewhere while they're walking i mean just think about it you don't have to go out of your comfort zone anymore to go play these games and you can win or you can lose in those games on your phone so it's it's really impressive and interesting and the betting is going to be a big thing that people like it gets competitive and you can play different types of games like pool uh, bowling tennis you know table tennis all that stuff and it's getting incorporated into these games i mean definitely do some research and as always thank you guys so much for watching i'm not here to tell you guys buy sell or hold any position on these stocks i'm just here to enlighten everyone on opportunities that the market is showing based off of revenue based off of the market cap, the value of the company, and articles and analysis ratings that I find. You guys have to do your due diligence and research to find and dig a little deeper to then make your own rational decisions. But we're all here to learn and grow together. I hope that you guys are learning from these and finding them helpful and useful. And let's make some money.